forth with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. All over the country in every direction How you, how you doing is the question And here's one of the hats that these people have to face Weedies! Oh, Weedies! And do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-
Jeff, what are you doing? Why is it you raise your gun like that? Shot! At that moment, the Lone Ranger and Potter were riding across the mesa when they heard the shot from the canyon. Potter, you hear that? Shot. Them come from canyon, Kimikati. There's a trail straight ahead that leads down there. We're going, Toto. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Oh. Oh, 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 Many minutes later, the Lone Ranger and Toto found Georges Durant lying in Little Canyon, badly wounded. There was no other person in sight as the masked man knelt beside Durant and tried to stop the flow of blood. The Frenchman, sensing death was near, tried to speak. Uh, don't try to speak. We want to know who shot you. You understand? You do? All right. Now, if you're able, use the end of the stick to write the man's name in the dirt. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> Your aunt started to move the stick, then stopped. The moonlight revealed a stricken look in his eyes, a look that became knowing again as he began to press the stick into the dirt. He moved the stick convulsively, but when he stopped, he had made the outlines of a sombrero. He closed his eyes, opened them again, then started to make another figure. But the stick fell from his hand as he gasped and died. There was nothing we could do to save him. No. But Kimasabi, yes. him not right name like you say. Him make mountain. A mountain? Let me look again. Yes, it could be that. It looks more like a sombrero. I think we'd better move his body away from here. At the ranch not far from here. Up Canyon Trail to north. That's right, the Tricorn Ranch. The one that... Toto. The Tricorn Ranch is owned by a Frenchman named Durant. The language this man spoke was French. Perhaps it was George Durant. Maybe. Toto, ride across the mesa and take this short trail to town. Find a sheriff and have him come to the Tricorn Ranch. I'll move this man's body there and be waiting for you. Ah. Annette Durant answered the knock on the ranch house door and saw the masked man. She gasped in terror. <laughs> then when she saw the body of her father, she became hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> but by the time the sheriff and his men, led by Tonto, arrived in front of the house, the soothing words and manner of the Lone Ranger had calmed her greatly. You remain seated. I'll open the door. Sheriff Tom Roswell and his posse passed the ranch of Chapman O'Neill on their way to the Tricorn. O'Neill, who was riding through his gate, turned his horse and joined them. As the door opened and the Lone Ranger appeared in the opening, Chap O'Neill's reaction was immediate. He leaped in front of the sheriff, gun in hand, and pointed it at the mask. Don't make a move, you. Stay right where you are. Well, what's the idea? You murdering varmint. You're the one who killed Mr. Durant, aren't you? Up with your hands. Stop it, Mr. O'Neill. Put away that gun. What? But, Sheriff, this man is masked. He's here. And he's the one who found Mr. Durant's body and sent his Indian friend for me. Now put away the gun. All right. Thanks, Sheriff. You arrived here fast. We left right away. Uh, Miss Durant, I'm sorry about this. Jim, you must find the man who killed my father. You must. I'll try, Miss Durant. Believe me. Now, stranger, suppose you tell me how you happened upon the body. The Lone Ranger told of finding Georges Durant after hearing the shot and related in detail the last moments of the dying man. And instead of writing a name, he drew what I take to be the picture of a hat. May, may I offer an explanation, perhaps? Uh, certainly, Mr. Durant. Papa, when he is a boy, has studied to paint pictures. Draw, you know. Perhaps he thinks he is better able to make clear what is in his mind if he draws a picture instead of writing in the English he finds so difficult. I'll bet that's it. Stranger, you say it's possible to see this picture he drew in the moonlight? Yes, it was lighter then, but I have candles in my pack. We'll go there now. May, may I go with you? I may be able to help you with this picture, I mean. Uh, sure, Mr. Hunt. Come along. The men and Annette Durant studied the ground in the canyon, scanning the picture made in the dirt with the aid of the sheriff's lantern. Roswell was the first to speak. He addressed the Lone Ranger. I agree with you. It looks like a sombrero. Oui, that is what I think. Those last few lines Papa made, they make the band on the hat 
and the dent in the crown. But what does it mean, a hat on the... That's it. That's what he meant. He told you who killed him right there. What do you mean, Mr. O'Neill? Yes, Chuck. Tell us what it is you mean. Did you hear what this masked man said? Hat on? Get it? Miss Annette, where's your foreman, Wade Hatton? Doggone, Mr. O'Neill. It looks like you hit it. Hat on the ground is what he drew. Hat on. Yes, Mr. Ant. Where's Wade Hatton? I do not know. He left the ranch soon after Papa drove off. I think we'd better question Wade Hatton. Come in. We're going back on the main road, and we're going to look for Wade Hatton. A posse augmented by O'Neill, the Lone Ranger, and Sato came upon Wade Hatton as he was leaving town, heading back towards the Tricorn Ranch. Oh, 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 oh. Hatton on his horse looked stunned as the sheriff's men surrounded him with drawn guns, and Sheriff Roswell spoke. Yeah, you're coming back to my office, Wade Hatton. I have questions to ask you, and you'd better answer them truthfully. I'm holding you on suspicion of killing George Durant. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Sheriff Sam is a boy of ten. He busts right in the robber's den and gets his man because he knows he's got gold power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got gold power. There he goes. <laughs> he's stealing his Cheerios. 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 That's Cheerios. The cereal shaped like little letter O's. And those O's stand for oats. The good grain Cheerios is made from... Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, those good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. You can see that Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So make sure you have a Cheerios breakfast every day. Then you'll hear people say, He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue. Wade Hatton, astounded to learn of his employer's murder, was questioned for almost an hour. He bore up under the interrogation and, in exasperation, said to the sheriff, You're out of your mind if you think that's what the picture means. I was out at the T-Bar L Ranch. And there are five cowpokes out there who swear I was with them all night. When Chap O'Neill left the sheriff's office, he'd gone to a nearby cafe where his foreman and henchman, Red Bissell, waited. He gave angry instructions to Bissell, who hurried to cafes and stores along the main street, spreading the word of Durant's murder. Now, as the crowd milled in front of the sheriff's office, O'Neill spoke to Bissell at a spot behind the mob. You sure have them riled. You made them think Hatton killed Durant in cold blood? Yeah, I said he killed and robbed him. Most of them know the Frenchman and like him. They think we ought to deal with Hatton ourselves. Otherwise, his alibi might hold up and the sheriff will keep looking for the killer. I want Hatton to hang. Oh. Figure <laughs> you may be able to get the girl as well as her old man's money, huh? <laughs> My arm. My arm. All right, don't make another remark like that or I'll shoot you. <coughs> now, get up there and take charge of that mob. Do it fast. Now. Red Bissell went to the porch on the building next to the sheriff's office. The crowd, unruly at first, subsided as he signaled for quiet. Then he spoke. They have a murder inside the sheriff's office. A cold-blooded murderer who shot a good man because he wanted his money. We want him. Old man Durant was good to a lot of you fellas out there. And you owe him something. Something like seeing that the man who murdered him doesn't get away with it. He won't get away with it. Let's hear it. He will get away with it. If that sheriff has anything to say, he's in on the thing with Hatton, you see. I say we stood for too much silly stallion with bad lawmen. Let's do things ourselves. Let's revenge old man Durant. Do I hear someone say Lynch Hatton? Yes. Yes, hang the murderer. Hang him. Then let's break down the doors of the sheriff's office and get Hatton. Come on. 
Red Bristol, with the leer at Chap O'Neill, jumped to the ground and started for the sheriff's office, the angry mob shuffling behind. Suddenly, a masked man leaped from the shadows at the side of the building and vaulted onto the sheriff's porch. The Lone Ranger fired over the heads of the mob and faced them with two guns in his hands. Stop right where you are. The first man who comes forward will be shot. Who are you? What are you trying to do? I'm going to see that justice is done. You, whoever you are, you've been egging this crowd on to a lynching bee. Man, he's been lying to you. There's no real proof that Hatton killed Mr. Durant. That's not true. Who are you? Many are going to stand there afraid of a single man in a mask. I have friends behind you. Otto, show them. Uh, you see, there are others, too. Yeah, look. Here comes Ed McDowell and two other deputies. Come inside. McDowell, they're after Hatton. I know, I heard everything. Men! Shoot him down! Shoot him down! Get back, Bethel! Drop that gun! No! McDowell, you can't stop us! I'll go! Red Bissell raised his gun to fire, but McDowell's shot caught him in the shoulder. At the same moment, the two deputies fired over the heads of the crowd. Red is hit. Look at him. They mean business. Anyone else want to crack something? Anyone else? Then get away from here. Hatton will get a fair trial in the court. No mobs will rule this town. The crowd, like all mobs, was cowardly. The men slunk away, leaving the wounded Bissell at the feet of the deputy sheriff and the Lone Ranger. Red Bissell, fearing he was mortally wounded, began to groan. Don't save me! Don't let me die! Chap! Chap, don't let him do this to me! Where are you, Chap? You won't die, Bissell. I know I'll die. I trust me. And he put me up to this and then ran away. Oh. Who put you up to it, Red? Oh. Who had you lead the mob? That child who ran away with the rest. Sap. Sap. Oh. 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 Sap. No. Oh. Hold it, McDowell. Oh. This sounds insane, but oh. it might be the answer. Oh. You don't have to speak French to know what their word oh. for hat is, do you? What? Why, no. Oh. The French for hat is chapeau. The word this oh. man said when he started to name Chap oh. O'Neill. That's whom you meant, isn't it, Bissell? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chap. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, masked man. You mean that when Durant threw that picture in the dirt, he meant Chap O'Neill? Why not? He started to trace another line next to the hat when he died. Had he finished, he might have given us a second picture. And the complete name of his murderer. I don't know what to say. It's true that Chap O'Neill always needs money. He's thrown away most of what his father left him, and the banks won't loan him anymore. Let's find out, then, while Sheriff Roswell's checking on Hatton. Look at Red. He's passed out. Bandage him, Pete. And take him inside and get a doctor. Right, Ed. O'Neill did leave with the rest of the crowd. I saw him talking to Bissell before. He must have it. Yes. Me see him go to horse, ride west. Heading for his ranch, probably. Then let's go there, McDowell. Let's learn what's behind his trying to get Hatton lynched. I'm saying there's more to this than a mere play on the word chapeau. But what do we do? I have a plan in mind. I'll tell you about it on the way. It starts with me going to see O'Neill alone. And we start from the ranch. Chapman O'Neill had been unnerved when the masked man kept Red Bissell from breaking into the sheriff's office and had become panicky when his lieutenant had been shot. Now, as he opened the door in response to a knock from outside, his legs became jelly-like as he saw the same masked man facing him. Wait. What do you want? To warn you, chap. Never mind who I am or why I tell you. Red Bissell talked to the deputies. What? That's right. I don't know what he told them. They think they have the answer to everything now. You were the one who killed George Durant and took his money belt. Who said that? I mean, who... I haven't time to stay here. I only know they have a new idea about the picture Durant drew before he died. It could explain everything. It could name you and not Hatton. I don't see how. They do. If I were you, I'd get that money belt and ride away from here before Sheriff Roswell returns and frees Hatton. That's sure to happen. Well, adios. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Tell me what... The Lone Ranger walked quickly into the night and away from the ranch house. When he arrived at a clump of bushes near the gate, he slipped in beside Deputy Ed McDowell. All right, you ready to follow him? I can't be sure that things will work out as I think they might. But I know that when I told him my story, he was actually shivering. Half an hour later, Chapel Neal entered the deserted cabin in Little Canyon. 
the place where he had buried George Durant's money belt. He lit a candle and placed it on the floor. Then he removed a pile of trash from the floor, which he had placed to cover the spot where the loot was hidden. There was a loose board, and he placed the fingers of both hands beneath this and began to tug. The perspiration was streaming from his face as he finally tore the board loose. Now take this money belt and get out of here. He held the large money belt in his hands, his frightened eyes suddenly enlivened by the feeling of possession. And then he heard the door open behind him. Run right there, O'Neill. Yeah, Let's get your hands up. You're under arrest for the murder of George Durant. It was after midnight when Sheriff Tom Roswell brought Wade Hatton to Annette Durant in the Tricorn Ranch House. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, who had ridden with them, to hear of the confession which O'Neill had made to the sheriff, remained outside the house as Sheriff Roswell led the way. Inside the house, Roswell told the wide-eyed Annette of all that had happened, events he had become aware of only on his return to his office. And though Wade's story proved true and I was ready to free him, I had no idea that the guilty man would be waiting for me. To think Chap O'Neill did this terrible thing. My father called him friend. Yes. Your father loaned him money to save his ranch after the banks had refused. O'Neill never intended to repay the note. He asked your father to meet him secretly in Little Canyon to discuss his situation. Then he killed your father and took his money and the note, which was also in the money belt. He destroyed the note, I suppose. No, we recovered it and the money. He intended to get rid of the paper at once, but he didn't have time. He heard men riding into the canyon after he shot Mr. Durant. He fled and hid the money belt in the cabin, then rode back to his ranch quickly. Who were the riders you just mentioned? Who scared him away? The masked man and the Indian. Oh, that wonderful masked man. Wait, darling. It was he who saved your life, was it not? No, he sure did, darling. But where is he now? And who is he? He's gone now. As he always goes when he's sure that justice has been done. And for what's happened tonight... We're all grateful to the Lone Ranger.